When I was a kid, artificial intelligence meant Matthew Broderick playing war games. Shall we play a game? Oh. Or Arnold, the catchphrasey cyborg. I'll be back. It turns out to be a lot more boring in reality. Probably more practical. With Facebook's big push into messenger bots, 2016 is being called the year of the chatbots. Some technologists are forecasting that AI-powered bots are going to overtake tons of human jobs, starting with customer service. But what's the reality? Should we be preparing for another job? And when can I get Rosie the robot to make me breakfast? It's the supportive. The supportive, yeah. By Help Scout. A chatbot is software that you're supposed to be able to talk to in your natural language and have it understand you and respond appropriately. In practice, it can feel like talking to a confused parrot, but the technology is definitely improving quickly. Over at Bloomberg Technology, Ellen Hewitt's written a couple of great stories this year. In The Humans Hiding Behind the Chatbots, she talked to people behind the scenes at places like uh, Facebook's M and the concierge service Magic. They're the ones answering questions that the AI can't answer yet. They're sort of like modern day mechanical Turks, except that now it's a person who's pretending to be an AI that's pretending to be a person. In Pushing the Boundaries of AI to Talk to the Dead, Hewitt writes about a developer who built a convincing chatbot simulation of a recently deceased friend. And she did that by firing into that chatbot all of the text-based conversations she and her friend had had. And the same would work for online customer service because we have an incredible volume of conversation happening every day. That's all great input for what's called machine learning, a type of AI where the machine is able to teach itself something without being directly programmed. But is that gonna be enough to replace human-powered service? Surely people are more than just a meat-based Google search box. What about empathy? What about compassion? MIT startup Coco is working on providing empathy as a service. Now that sounds like something a hipster bartender might say about their job but it's actually a much more interesting approach to solving a real problem. Current AI is very poor at working with people who are in crisis. And so the COCO team has built a system which is better at recognizing people who really need help and better at providing them a useful and empathetic answer. While COCO works on adding emotion and empathy to AI, a Dutch company has built a system called Rectvisor, which doesn't try to simulate real human emotions and instead tries to replace lawyers. Yes. Lawyer jokes. The Dutch system uses AI and machine learning to handle a whole range of dispute resolution, and it's already replacing low-level work from actual lawyers. So if AI is going to replace a lot of jobs, perhaps it will be the legal profession rather than customer service, which gets hit hardest. So is AI the future of customer service? Will we soon all be the lazy people from Wally? -E? Well, two things seem clear. One, Yes, AI and chatbots are clearly coming. They're increasingly able to do real work and provide good experiences. But two, there is still a long way to go before the technology is good enough to really replace most of customer service. Uh, tech investor Mark Andreessen put it this way on his blog. Robots and AI are not nearly as powerful and sophisticated as I think people are starting to fear. Really, with my venture capital and technologist hat on, I wish they were, but they're not. There are enormous gaps between what we want them to do and what they can do. I expect that the highest value work of chatbots in customer service is going to be in assisting your human support team, but taking away a lot of the tedious searching and indexing and repetition and saving time for those humans with their big brains for the conversations that really matter, making a human connection to another person and understanding what they need and not just what they ask for. Thank you for watching The Supportive. I'll see you again next month. Remember, you can go to helpscout.com supportive and you can find all the links to the stories from this edition and you can leave a comment there. And I will leave you now with this harrowing vision of an AI-driven future from a couple of New Zealand-based technologists, Brett and Jermaine. Finally, robotic beings rule the world. The humans are dead. The humans are dead.